Hello and welcome to today's presentation, What is Fault Tolerance Server? This is part three of a three-part series, which is being brought to you by NEC Corporation of America. In part one, we talked about hardware-based fault tolerance versus software-based fault tolerance. And in part two, we talked about TCO analysis. If you'd like to view those webcasts, you can click on the links below in the console. Joining us to discuss this topic today is Kevin Anthony Davis. He's a senior systems engineering manager with NEC. Now let me hand things over to Kevin to begin the presentation. Please go ahead. Thank you. What we're going to talk about today is what is the Fault Tolerance Server? Fault Tolerance Server provides five nines of high availability for virtual server environments. One of the first things we want to talk about, and this is from IDC, what is fault tolerance? So starting from the bottom, when you're taking a look at a general purpose server or a blade server with RAID, the availability is 99.5. A lot of people don't realize that actually equates to 43 hours and 23 minutes of annual downtime. What does that really mean? That means that tomorrow is okay for that application to be available. Then when we take a look at cluster high availability, which is very interesting, you talked about cluster and high availability, the availability is 99.9. .9. What does that actually equate to? That's 8 hours and 45 minutes of annual downtime. So what is the tolerance, the user tolerance to that? Business interruption, and it's okay to lose a transaction. But what we're talking about, and what the NEC FT offers, is five nines high availability out of the box. That equates to 5.25 minutes of annual downtime. Mission critical applications and the such, when you take a look at the tolerance to downtime, is zero or none with that five nines availability. The NEC Fault Tolerance Server provides high availability, data preservation, and financial savings also as well. And as you see, we support the most predominant operating systems that are out there, Windows Server 2012, Red Hat, and VMware. We provide continuous processing through failures, service without any outage of the application. From a data preservation standpoint, there's no loss of the application or client data, and this is accomplished through lockstep or system integrity through the lockstep support. Financial savings are also realized because you have to put out less infrastructure, there's protection of critical IT assets, less IT resource needed, and less maintenance as well. What I'm showing you here is actual architecture. If you take a look at the top, this is your conventional Intel Xeon system. Uh, that being a single server. You have disk, you have the IOPCI, a chipset, uh, you have multiple CPUs and memory. As you'll see at the bottom, any C fault tolerance server, as I alluded to previously, lockstep has two of everything for all intents and purposes. Multiple CPUs, multiple memory, multiple paths. So you really have two systems that are actually acting as one. And the intellectual property here is a Gemini engine that gives us that high availability. So you're getting lockstep protection of the entire CPU, memory, and the Intel chipsets. Continuous availability, when you take a look at it in the standalone, if you have it in service and there's a failure, the system is typically down for a few hours or more. Um, you have to go and get a replacement, and whenever you do get that replacement, then you can go and restart the service. A common approach to this is also clustering. So it's in service, there's a failover, or a failure I should say, then the actual failover process starts. The system can be down for up to 10 minutes or more. In the interim, service is highly intermittent. A failover is complete, you can restart the service once there is a repair or a replacement. With the FT, if there's a failure, there's nonstop service. The system continues to run, the applications are still available, everyone can access the system. The faulty module is replaced once again while the system and the application continues to run. So there's absolutely positively zero downtime and you have continuous availability of your mission critical applications. So when we talk about the value proposition, once again, continuous availability, five nines of high availability, which equates to five minutes per year of downtime. The server virtualization protection is also as well, all eggs in one basket. And as I spoke about in one of our previous presentations, virtualization has absolutely changed computing. The more VMs you put on one system, 
if that one system goes down, you lose all of those virtual machines. The NECFT protects against that. So the scalable vCPU performance, and there's no performance degradation, even if there is any failure whatsoever. The operational simplicity also as well, easy to roll out, easy to put in place, easy to administer, and very easy to configure. And again, rapid system deployment, three minutes um, versus almost 30 minutes with other solutions. And you don't need to deal with any type of cluster deployment complexity also as well and the TCO reduction in terms of time, the infrastructure, and the software licensing, and the savings associated with application outages also as well. So when you take a look at the advantages here between the hardware, the operating system, application, the installation and service, and administration, what you'll see here is really the FT exceeds versus your traditional layout to clustering. We have a number of use cases here. One of them I like to point out is a manufacturer called Progressive Stamping. Um, they have a central manufacturing database that actually goes and tracks all the components um, and provides performance management. Um, it is absolutely critical that the system runs at all times because quite simply, their operations stop if there's a failure. And you'll see from Mike McDermott here that he would not only recommend NEC for their our knowledge and fantastic product, but for our dedication to customer satisfaction. And this is a really a glowing review of the NEC fault tolerant solution. So again, why is this the best platform for server virtualization? Total cost or ownership savings, five nights high availability, superior performance, and easy deployment. Thank you very much for your time today. Thanks, Kevin. Well, I would like to thank today's speaker, Kevin Anthony Davis, for taking the time to join us today. I'd also like to thank today's sponsor, NEC Corporation of America, for making this event possible. If you missed any of the webcasts in this three-part series, or you simply want to go back and watch them again, you can click on the links below in the console to view any of the webcasts in this series. As always, I'd like to thank you, the audience, for taking the time to join us today. Have a great day.